welcome to everyone uh, to my lecture uh, just uh, we are discussing about accounting for machinery operation sector so our books you know uh, accounting principles wagon uh, kimel and kaiso okay very interesting discussion today uh, learning objective to uh, recording purchases under a perpetual inventory system so this is our learning objective too uh, just uh, uh, first to you know uh, what will be the benefits of this uh, purchase so number one made using cash or credit on account uh, that means uh, we use cash or credit credit means on account or credit same matter same thing or cash normally record when goods are received from the seller uh, under the uh, perpetual inventory system uh, just uh, normally uh, record when goods are received from the seller that means from the seller when we collected our goods procured our goods or purchase our goods or buy our goods that times uh, we record this one uh, number three, purchase invoice should support each credit purchase. Okay, that will purchase invoice. Uh, we can uh, purchase a lot of items, lot of goods. So that times every purchase, every purchase and every invoice, the separate. So every purchase or every invoice, uh, separate means just uh, suppose we have uh, uh, purchase today. Uh, five goods so, so we have collected five invoice so, so here purchase invoice should support each credit purchase okay uh, i think everybody is clear uh, here illustration 5.6 sales invoice used as a purchase invoice by shauk istrio shauk istrio he is the uh, purchaser and pw audio supply incorporation he is the seller Okay, I think everybody is clear. Now, recording purchases of merchandise. That means, uh, illustration, Sauk Stereo, the buyer. He is the buyer, uses as a purchase invoice, the sales invoice prepared by PW, audio supply information, the seller. That means, this invoice is prepared by the seller. And uh, this is Sauk Stereo, he is the purchaser. Prepare the journal entry for South Studio for the invoice from PW Audio Supply. Uh, again, I repeat this. Uh, thus, we are talking about the perpetual inventory system. So, so under the perpetual inventory system, uh, when we record our uh, uh, record our purchase, at that times we need to debit our inventory and credit accounts payable. That means this is you know this is the credit purchase. Okay, that's the inventory debit and accounts payable credit. This is the character of the uh, credit purchase under the perpetual inventory system and it's support by a mm, invoice. So suppose you uh, can look here, this is a invoice. Okay. Uh, freight cost, freight cost uh, two types. Uh, that means uh, FOB shipping point or FOB destination. FOB um, uh, that is free on board shipping point shipping point buyer pays freight cost when I, suppose he is the uh, buyer buyer he will pay this and uh, seller ownership passes to buyer here that means um, uh, buyer ownership is received from this place that means public carrier uh, the uh, seller passes the goods to buyer carrier and uh, this is the FOB shipping point and uh, FOB destination that means here ownership passes to buyer here that means seller pays freight cost when the seller pays uh, uh, freight cost and seller is responsible uh, to risk the goods this place okay and he is the buyer the shipping terms illustration 5.7 so ownership of the goods passes to buyer when the public carrier accepts the goods from the seller from the seller when the buyer accepts the goods 
we call this is the FOB shipping point and FOB destination ownership of the goods remains with the seller until the goods reach the buyer until the goods reach the buyer that means buyer place uh, the uh, uh, seller is liable to reach the goods to the buyer and ownership remains with the seller uh, ownership um, uh, ownership of the goods remains with the seller until the goods reach the buyer okay freight cost incurred by the seller are an operating expenses so, so here freight cost incurred by the seller when the seller will incur the uh, incur the freight cost uh, it will be the operating cost by the seller i think everybody is clear uh, now we move to next slide freight cost uh, assume upon delivery of the goods on may 6 may 6 this is uh, everybody uh, uh, we will uh, just uh, remember this date, May 6. Uh, South Stereo Press Public Freight Company, uh, $1.50 for freight charges. Uh, the entry on South Stereo Book is, uh, so here, uh, uh, assume upon delivery of the goods. Delivery of the goods on May 6, South Stereo Press public freight company public freight company uh, just uh, the pace by the stereo stereo pace so, so here the inventory will be debit and a, a cash will be credit that means this is the cash paid and uh, second one assume the freight terms on the invoice illustration 56 had required pw audio supply to pay the freight charges the entry of by pw audio supply would have been would have been uh, freight out this is debit and cash credit those are two matter here the uh, FOB shipping point and here this is FOB uh, destination okay I think everybody is clear uh, passes return and allowances passes may be dissatisfied because goods are damaged or defective or inferior quality of goods or do not meet specifications in this case uh, sometimes the purchaser may be dissatisfied and uh, he or the purchaser or buyer can return the goods to the seller the purchase returns uh, number one so we, we will understand this point uh, return goods for credit if the sale was made on credit or for a cash refund if the purchase was for cash so here return goods for credit if sale was made on credit or if or cash refund if purchase was for cash or purchase allowance for this uh, and uh, purchase allows may choice to keep the merchandise if the seller is willing to grant a reduction of the purchase price very easy to understand i think uh, these two matters this is the purchase return uh, sometimes the goods may be returned to the uh, seller uh, if uh, we have found any damage defective inferior quality of goods or do not meet the specification and number second purchase allowance uh, sometimes the seller may be willing uh, um, uh, uh, seller may will to grant a reduction of the purchase price we call this is the purchase allowance and in this case the buyer uh, will uh, benefit here okay i think everybody is clear a purchase returns and allowance Says, returns and allowances uh, assume uh, Sauk studio return goods costing $300 to PW audio supply on May 8 in this case uh, accounts payable will be debit and inventory will be inventory will be uh, just get it okay uh, I think everybody is clear and when we par uh, bought these goods inventory debit and accounts payable get it and when we return these goods uh, the uh, entry will be vice versa accounts payable debit and inventory credit and now um, uh, purchase returns and allowance question uh, just uh, uh, this is the test question everybody uh, just uh, I offer this question to my learners can you answer this question if a perpetual inventory system a return of defective merchandise by the purchaser is recorded by crediting which will be credit perpetual inventory system a return of defective goods 
uh, previous uh, section uh, slide we have uh, shown this that means inventory will be uh, get it uh, parcels discount uh, credit terms may permit buyer to claim a cash discount for promote payment okay so, so here example uh, example credit terms may read 210 net 30 210 net 30 means just uh, later on we will uh, clear these points so, so advantage purchaser saves money uh, that means for purchase discount purchaser saves money um, that times when the purchaser pay to the seller that times he um, must get some deduction so purchaser saves money number second seller shortens the operating cycle by converting the accounts receivable into cash earlier a seller just uh, seller will get uh, some benefits and shortens the operating cycle by converting the accounts receivable into cash earlier that means as early as possible he uh, can collect the cash and he gets some benefits from the uh, from this transaction okay uh, now uh, we can move next slide uh, parcel discount uh, 210 net 30 210 means 2 by 10 n by 30 means 2 percent discounts if paid within 10 days if the if the purchaser pays to the seller within 10 days uh, he will get 2 percent discount and here uh, 210 net uh, 210 net 30 related to the uh, credit credit uh, purses for credit purses so uh, here and all are related to credit purses or on credit uh, so here 2 percent discount if paid within 10 days otherwise net amount due within 30 days that means uh, here the buyer he uh, if he pays this amount within 10 days he will must get 2 percent discount on the net amount and uh, if he fail to pay this amount uh, then he must pay this amount within 30 days this is the net 30 1 by 10 eom uh, here one percent discount if paid within first 10 days on next month okay or n by 10 uh, eom that means net amount due within the first 10 days of the next month okay purchase discounts assume uh, South Stereo pays the balance due uh, $3,500 gross invoice price $3,800 less purchase returns and allowance $300 on May 14th that means actually the buyer uh, pays uh, on 14th so this is the last day of discount period that means uh, uh, we know the transactions uh, period 10 days and this is the last days May 14 prepare the journal entry South Stereo makes on May 14 to record the payment for uh, this payment uh, we need to be recorded these transactions in our journal entry so, so May 14 uh, the accounts payable 3500 this will debit and inventory inventory uh, inventory 70 that means 2% discount he is entitled to get 2% discount that means uh, uh, 210 that means he is uh, uh, getting this discount uh, he must uh, entitle the discount he will enjoy the discount okay 2% so 3500 uh, multiply by 2% uh, equal to 70 that means inventory 70 this will be credit and cash he will pay cash 3430 okay uh, actually he needs to pay 3500 but uh, 70 dollar he is getting discount i think everybody is clear now purchase discount uh, if south stereo failed to take the discount uh, and instead made full payment 3500 on june 3 the journal entry would be that means uh, the buyer is completely failed to take the discount within 10 days so now he needs uh, he needs to pay uh, this amount within 30 30 days so, so uh, in this case he will get uh, he will not get any discount so, so journal will be accounts payable debit cash credit i think everybody is clear now uh, uh, should discount be taken when offered that means sometimes the seller offered discount so, so whether the purchaser will taken 
uh, will take the discount or not uh, okay the so discount 2% uh, already we have uh, uh, found 70 dollar and uh, if he do not uh, take this discount then suppose 3500 dollar he invest other place with 10% uh, uh, 10% profit for 20 days uh, that times uh, it could be 19.18 dollar so okay saving by taking the discount 50.82 dollar so so it could be better if we take this offer that means if we take this offer we get uh, 50.82 dollar uh, benefits okay so, so example two percent for 20 days uh, the um, uh, discount uh, sorry percentage will be 36.5 percent this one and uh, the discount already we have um, calculated 70 dollar 70 dollar this is the dollar okay now uh, summary of purchasing transaction 3800 uh, this is the return and uh, this is the freight in and this is the discount so balance 3580 in our inventory balance okay uh, so now uh, this is uh, do it to purchase transactions on September 5, D. La Hoya company buys merchandise on account from June to DS company. The selling price of the goods is uh, dollar one thousand five hundred, and the cost of DS company was uh, eight hundred dollar. On September 8, D. La Hoya return defective goods with a selling price dollar two hundred. Record the transactions on books of D. La Hoya company. That D. La Hoya company, uh, he is the buyer. The so first one we need to be recorded the transaction uh, the uh, inventory debit and the accounts payable credit and uh, you know return uh, here 200 so, so here accounts payable uh, debit or inventory credit okay I think everybody is clear here very simple uh, to uh, get this point okay okay thank uh, thanks to everyone for participating uh, to my lecture.